Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today Proverbs 19, beginning in verse 24, where God says, A slothful man hides his hand in his dish and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Now that's lazy. A, a person deserves to starve to death if he's too lazy to eat the food that's in front of him. You know that you're slothful. You know that you are lazy if you buy food, but you're too lazy to cook it so it rots. You know that you're lazy. <clears throat> in other words, when there's something that needs to be done, even for your own good, it needs to be done, but you put it off and you don't put any effort into doing it. And so it never gets done. You deserve all the bad consequences of that kind of slothfulness that you can get. 25. Smite a scoffer, and the simple will beware, and reprove one that has understanding, and he will understand knowledge. Smite a scoffer or a scorner. He will learn because punishment deters crime. I always get a kick out of these liberals who say, well, no. Death penalty does not deter crime. Punishment does not deter crime. These people are sick. We need to make up excuses for them. Punishment does not deter crime, and yet they're driving down the street, these same people, they're driving down the street to see a squad car, and the first thing they do is take their foot off the gas and check the speedometer. Hypocrites, tell me again, punishment doesn't deter crime. It certainly does. God says that it does in his word. That's, but that really is one of the stupidest things that anybody can say is that punishment does not deter crime because even a moral reb reprobate will let up on the gas pedal when they see a squad car just in case. God says that punishment does deter crime. Pain produces prudence, meaning that punishment deters crime. And then he goes on to say in verse 25, and reproof one, reprove one, I should say, that has understanding and he will understand knowledge. With the stubborn people of the world, the stubborn sinners of the world, it takes pain before they will learn to behave. With some people, they just need the threat. They need to know the truth, that you're going to have a part price to pay. And that's all they need to deter them from doing something that is wrong. But with stubborn, rebellious sinners, it takes pain before they learn. They have to suffer. And then they will learn, hopefully. But unless they're totally given over to their sin, which some people are today, a stubborn person will eventually learn. But like God is saying in this verse, a discerning person is much wiser because he corrects himself even after a rebuke. He doesn't need to experience pain. You might as well just take the rebuke from God's word, take it at face value, and stop doing what you're doing because otherwise he's going to he's going to turn up the pain he's going to notch it up a few degrees and make it sting and you'll have to learn the hard way but either way you're going to learn might as well make it easy on yourself and just listen to God's word study all of God's word with me at the bibleversebyverse.com choose click and listen from four complete series going through the whole bible 
verse by verse. If you'd like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture verse by verse, you can be by praying for me and God's Word. And when you take a break from studying with me at the thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give us the Lord may lead. That'll make you a part of this ministry, and I'd appreciate it very much. Until next time, Michael Moret for Coffee Break. So long, everyone.